Hello everyone and happy Taurus new moon coming up here in Melbourne, Australia on May 28th at around 1.22pm, meaning that it will be earlier, perhaps even into the 7th in some other parts of the world. It is a super new moon, meaning that the moon is closer to the earth in its elliptical orbit and more powerful in its influence on the collective and also on our feeling state. Now Taurus is a sign, an archetype that represents our values and the resources and skills that we develop and embody to help us live those values, feel valuable, create value in the world and experience a life of value. Taurus is also the garden of delight that is this earth, the bounty and the beauty and the pleasure we get to experience here and earth, nature is the ultimate artist and it has inspired humanity to write amazing poems, sing and dance and create their own artistic expression from experiencing the art that is nature. This new moon is happening at the 18th degree of Taurus, which is within the orb of the great conjunction we just had on the 21st of April between Uranus and Jupiter, both sky gods. And that conjunction happened on the 21st degree. It's a 14 year cycle. And every time there's a new moon, a full moon, a transit over the 21st degree, we reactivate whatever came up for us at the 21st of April around those values, around how we want to live and um, create a life that feels pleasurable and worth living and a life that makes us feel worthy and supported by nature, by the earth, and in a symbiotic relationship with it. This new moon is also conjunct Uranus, the change maker, and Taurus loves stability. It loves certainty and it does not love change. But we know that for us to evolve, we need to let go of the known and step into the unknown, let go of systems that don't work, values that don't longer serve and step into innovative new ideas, new ways of being, thinking and believing. And yeah, that can be uncomfortable, but it's important so that we don't um, calcify and harden our hearts. So we are stepping into change and evolution. And part of being able to step into that change is to come back to the things we value. Some of my values are freedom, authenticity, service, love, beauty, and integrity. And remembering those values as we set our new moon intentions will help us course correct and align to what it is we want to create for ourselves in this larger 14 year cycle, in this new moon cycle, in the coming day and the coming week. Um, And as we align to those values, we come to realize that we need to let go of some things, simplify some things, take risks to be able to come into full integrity with what it is we need to create in our environment, what resources we need to call in, what skills we need to develop to live those values fully. Um, Pluto has just turned retrograde in Aquarius, which represents the collective enlightenment. It represents um, the future and our visionary nature and our ability to grow as a collective in a humanitarian, loving way. And it is speaking in a positive relationship to Jupiter, the planet of joy, optimism, luck, abundance, fortune. And both these planets are speaking to Neptune, another um, powerful outlying planet, which represents service, unconditional love. It represents transcendence and that inner artist and that inner mystic. And Neptune has just gone to the 29th degree of Pisces, the completion degree. So putting that 
um, Neptune energy in a very powerful um, degree of completion. Again, letting go of what no longer serves so that we can transcend into something that serves not just us as an individual, but the collective. And this brings us to a conversation of moving beyond intellect, which is very Aquarian and very Uranian, and into the heart, which is the place of unity and transcendence. It's the place from where we connect to each other and to the all. So in this meditation, I wanted to work with the heart space and um, Heart Math Institute has done some amazing, amazing, amazing breakthrough work that shows us the power of the heart and its electromagnetic field and how much larger it is than that of the brain and it shows us that we can um, feel an emotion and send it to another it shows us that the research that they've done has showed us that um, we can affect other people through how we feel and we can change how we feel just by thinking it, just by slowing our breathing down, just by focusing on the heart, just by extending the exhale by two counts to the inhale, taking us into that relaxed, safe, parasympathetic nervous system state. And this is all to remind us that we are each unique and powerful beings and that we have the power within us to heal, to transcend and to affect each other, to inspire each other to grow and evolve and reach that place of living from our values. So in this meditation, we will work with a heart breath and a heart meditation. And connect into setting an intention based on the values we want to see. Alive and real. Mm, now we have mirror neurons in our brain. And a lot of research has been done on these neurons. And it shows us that when we visualize, our brain doesn't know the difference between what is real and what is imagined. So everything we visualized and especially when we visualize from the feeling state is registered as truth. And we see this with a lot of research done on athletes um, using control groups of one, athletes that imagine themselves, visualize themselves winning a goal, athletes that practice alone, athletes that practice and visualize. And the athletes that do the best are the ones who visualize and the ones who visualize and practice. Another confirmation that we are powerful beings and that when we enter this state of relaxation and that visionary state of imagining what's possible, we create it in our inner world and as we practice living it, feeling it, habituating to this new reality, we begin to see the effects of it in our outer world. So with all that knowledge in mind, I invite you into a quiet space where you can close your eyes and fully immerse in the experience. A place where you can reach for safety and embody it, where you can be here with you now, just for this moment. And as you get comfy and cozy in this space, I invite you to begin the journey to the heart by closing the eyes and begin to notice your breath, its quality, its depth, its pace, its temperature, beginning to notice sensations in your body, the 
the soft spaces, the tender spaces, the spaces of tension, stress. And allowing the next inhale to move through those hardened spaces and soften them. Imagine releasing that tension on the exhale. Taking a few breaths like this. Creating inner space, emptying out. And then bringing your attention to the heart. Beginning to breathe directly in and out of the heart here. You can bring your hands and place them on the heart if that helps you focus. And as you breathe into the heart, begin noticing the chest expand and open. The shoulders gently roll back and soften. Feeling the spine begin to lengthen and straighten. Creating more inner space. More room to breathe, to be. As you continue to breathe in and out of the heart space. And then beginning to notice how many counts an inhale takes. Perhaps you're breathing in for four counts. One, two, three, four. And on the exhale, extending that count by two. So if you're breathing in for four, you're exhaling for six. Inhaling for four, exhaling for six. As you focus on the heart, Activating that relaxation parasympathetic response. And perhaps imagining here a golden light. The size of a tennis ball, a sphere, radiating at the heart space. And here, planting a seed of gratitude. Naming one thing you're grateful for and feeling that gratitude. Warm the heart. And as you focus on that gratitude, feeling it pulse. Radiate out through the entire chest. Gratitude being the gateway to all the other higher emotions. And as you focus on this gratitude, taking a moment to think about what are the things you value? What do you want to create more of in your life? What experiences will these values create? Release. What's important to you right now? Listen for a response. 
Breathing in and out of the heart. Exhaling for an extra two counts. Beginning to feel those values come alive in the heart center. Perhaps through a memory, real or imagined, an experience. Perhaps through an archetype of a person, a legend, a deity. Bringing to mind someone, something, sometime in which those values were alive, active. And weaved into the fabric of reality, creating, shifting. what was into alignment with what you value. Noticing how this memory, this experience, this activation of the values feels in your body, in your heart. And in this new feeling state, setting an intention. one that will help you live those values for yourself, for each other. And placing that in the heart space. As you continue to breathe in and out of the heart. On the next inhale, releasing the count. And imagine yourself filling up with prana life force. Filling up the chest, the heart. Charging up that sphere of light. And on the next exhale, imagining that sphere of light from the heart, the golden light radiating out even further, expanding out to encompass your entire body, creating a sphere of light, golden light around you. One that is vibrating at the frequency of gratitude and what it is you value. And on the next inhale, charging that sphere up even more with prana, with life force. And on the exhale, extending it out to encompass the entire earth. Filling the earth in a golden sphere of light. Filled with gratitude, with your 
hopes, your dreams. With your intention and with your gratitude. Holding space for that. Holding earth in that gratitude. Holding earth in the possibility of your intentions. And allowing it all to come into harmony. in this golden light. That radiates out from your heart. And connects your heart to the heart of the earth and the heart of all sentient beings here on earth. Allowing that harmony to bring you more and more into the alignment with the people, the places, the experiences. that will bring your intention to fruition. Feeling it all within you. Allowing it all to be a part of you. Noticing what thoughts, feelings, sensations, ideas come up. as you hold that gratitude in your heart and wrap it around the entire planet. holding this state allowing it to program at a cellular level allowing it to awaken a new genetic expression
continuing to hold that vision of a golden sphere of light wrapping around the earth in gratitude. Radiating your values, your intention. Creating harmony and alignment. From your heart to every heart. Beginning to breathe yourself back into your body, back into the heart space. With every inhale, becoming more and more present, more and more alert, more and more awake. And when you're ready, gently opening your eyes. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope that served. Let me know what came up, how that felt in the comments. I love hearing from all of you in the community. I share this a lot at my in-person events. Um, but a lot of research was done in the 70s when transcendental meditation came over to the states in that wave of spiritual awakening and um, research was done around Detroit and other kind of rough cities, rough in those times, um, where they would look at the crime rates of the city um, after and during the meditation that people would gather and meditate 20 minutes on peace. And they noticed that when people gathered and meditated, the crime rate went down um, by a very, very substantial amount. And that's just to remind you of how powerful you are and how powerful we are when we gather with one intention, one heart to create change in our own life and in the life of those around us. Um, so that meditation we just did was not just for our own betterment, but for the betterment and liberation of all. Um, there's amazing research on entanglement theory that shows that when a proton is split, whatever's done to one proton is immediately um, felt and created in the other proton. There is no lapse in time, um, which shows that we are all one. We are all entangled. We are all part of the one experience. So we don't have to send our prayers for each other across time and space. We just have to feel that prayer in our heart and know it. And by feeling it and knowing it, it reaches the hearts of those who need it. 
So I hope whatever your intentions were, whatever values you align to in this new moon, in this meditation, will awaken the same values in the hearts of those who also hold them and that together we can support each other to continue to grow, feel loved and evolve. Thank you all. Sending you so much love. Satnam.